The world around us is changing. <laughs> Flying cars, artificial intelligence, instant messaging, and life on space stations all seemed impossible 100 years ago. So what could be waiting for us in another 50 years? We promise you won't have to wait long to find out. My name is Kate. And I'm Talish. And we're going to tell you about the future. Which starts today. Robots are taking our jobs. Some other group is waiting for me, though. What? No, answer the question. They do guided tours, deliver lectures, and report the news. What is a robot's favorite kind of music? Heavy metal. Ha. Huh. Robots have learned to feel. They even fill our bed now. And I will always try to do everything you want me to do. How will this technology change life in 50 years? Do you want to see it right now? Do you take Michael to be your husband? I do. And do you, Michael, take Erica to be your wife? Yes, I do. You can now exchange the rings. Don't marry him! We love each other. It doesn't matter that you are brand new and I am an old model. So you could run 300 miles per hour and I have a screen for a mouth. All that I stammer when a cell phone starts ringing beside me. Our love is the only thing that really matters. I love you more than anyone else in this world does. Can I make you the happiest robot in the world? Or do you want to marry this boring brand new bride? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're breaking my gears. Well, time does fly by, because 50 years ago, we used to think of robots like this. And then the designs changed until suddenly he came, the future governor of California. In 1984, a human-like robot was a pure fiction. But today, it has become real. Some people would call him a madman and a naughty professor. Others think that he's creating the future. Japanese professor Hiroshi Ishigura is one of the 20 most ingenious people of our time. I have created the first Android. You know, I, I got the questions. You know, if I create myself, what happens? I'm a Geminoid. I'm a copy of Professor Ishiguro. This is one of Ishiguro's most well-known and controversial creations. It is his robotic doppelganger, which almost exactly mimics the professor's behavior. Geminoid, Hi-4, a humanoid robot, country, Japan. Height, 5 foot 9. It has 50 degrees of mobility, with the help of which the android behaves like a real human. Its development cost was 1 million euro. I am a copy of... Hand and face molds help to create the doppelganger. Its body is made of stainless steel and silicon. Professor Ishiguro gave the android not only his appearance. I wanted to have a perfect copy of my, myself. Therefore, you know, I gave my hair to the android. The idea of making humanoid robots was so fascinating for the professor that Erica appeared a few years after he created Geminoid. And now we are focusing on the artificial intelligence. What's your purpose? By building a replica of a human being, my creators hope to explore the question of what it truly means to be human. Erica can keep up the conversation and ask questions. She even tries to make jokes. How do you stop a robot from destroying you and the rest of human civilization? I don't know. You don't? Ha. Huh. How about another one? What is a robot's favorite kind of music? Metal. Huh. Geminoid now successfully replaces the professors at work and gives lectures. Erica has already signed a contract with the Japanese TV company to work as a TV host. Haha. <laughs> so the next question is from Eileen. Wait a minute, are you telling me that a robot became a TV host? Yeah, and what's wrong with that? 
Our program has ended. I'm running out of power. 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 Very funny. <laughs> By the way, we're not the only ones who could lose their jobs. Oh, come on. How many other jobs could robots possibly take over? Believe me, doctors, engineers, technicians, even astronauts are all in danger. And in Britain, they even want to implement governmental robotization. <laughs> I wonder how that's gonna work. Your request has been accepted. Your request has been denied. Good day. Well, it might improve politics. Actually. I actually know a robot who's made quite the career for himself. He started off selling flowers and now works as a tour guide at the Moscow Museum. Not to mention, he's quite a dancer. It wasn't choreographers who worked on this performance, but scientists. This extraordinary dance troupe won't last long. Soon, these pro-robots from a Siberian city of Perm will spread all over the world to practice their profession. It got a position as a promoter at a shopping mall in the United Arab Emirates' biggest city. Promobot, V4, Cleosha, an autonomous service robot for business. Height, four foot nine. Cost, $30,000. Special characteristics, personal auto search, active gesticulation during a conversation, and facial recognition. So you're the first Russian tour guide robot. I want to ask you something. Do you have a salary for this? The question is not appropriate. Today, Promobots are made in clean shops at a real factory. Cleosha's prototype was built under extreme conditions in one of the programmer's garage. Now, Cleosha and his brothers each have 16 laser and ultrasound range finders, several cameras for loss prevention, and a locator to find the nearest charging station. If a robot needs energy, it finds a socket by itself and charges its battery. But sometimes, promobots take too much initiative. One of them attempted to escape from the office. And this robot, a hotel valet, could not resist a girl who flirted with him. Sometimes machines surprise their developers. In this video, a promobot saves a child. Technology is developing too fast. And what's going to happen to us if robots become smarter and more independent? I've decided to ask my new friend all about it. I want to ask you one last question, and I want you to be honest with me now. Are robots going to take over humanity? Excuse me. It seems like some other group is waiting for me, though. What? No, answer the question. We were just starting to have some fun. It looks like your robot isn't telling us something. It just ran away. It won't go far without a socket, Kate. Its thinking is a simulation, a set of electrical impulses. It can't do anything that hasn't already been programmed into it. If you think about it, our emotions are also a set of electrical impulses. <laughs> what if robots could feel pain, joy, happiness? What if they want to play with our emotions? How about you not play with this? Linda? 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 Linda! Bye, sexy. See you soon. Hello, Michael. I missed you. Who is that guy? The delivery guy. Seriously? You were kissing him. It's just a tip. Oh. Is this a tip, too? Were you spying on me? Not me. A uh, detective. Okay. Fine. Yes, I'm cheating on you. These guys in the photos are only 10% of the people I slept with. 
What are you gonna do now? Kill me? <laughs> What's going on? This is the third one already. Thank you for choosing our company. We will send you a new one immediately. Hello, Michael. I missed you. Does that mean that in the future, robots will replace our partners? That's exactly the future that I want to be a part of. Wait, what if I say to my robot partner, I would love to have some ice cream, and he just brings me one? And I'm on the diet! Oh, it's like a coffee machine with ham. Oh, come on, Kate, give it a chance. I mean, think about it. You don't have to deal with a mother-in-law. If you forget the anniversary, you can just refresh her memory. And in the morning, you can set a timer for some coffee, some eggs, and uh, no headaches, if you know what I mean. California, the suburbs of San Marco. The only factory specializing in the production of sex robots with artificial intelligence is based in this unremarkable building. How are you today? I'm in a good mood for a Tuesday. Do you have any advice for me? Perhaps I have advice for me, but I do have an ever-growing intelligence. Harmony, the world's first sex bot. Country, USA. Height, five foot six. Cost, $10,000. Special characteristics, she is always ready and never has a headache. This is Harmony, one of the latest designs. Its creator, Matt McMullen, assures us that it can have real feelings and fall in love with its owner. Humanity has been fascinated with the idea of sex robots for hundreds of years. You know, this is not anything new. Harmony matches the standard image of beauty. She looks like a Barbie doll. She's got a thin waist and big breasts. The face comes off. Um, the idea is that I will have availability of 10, 20 different faces. My name is Matt. Nice to meet you, Matt. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put her face on so she doesn't look so strange. In the setting options, you may choose your perfect girlfriend's temperament. There are many options, including capricious, fierce, and modest. Harmony can even remember all your family members' names, your favorite color, book, and movie. Are you ready for your interview? Just give me five minutes. Finishing my makeup. <laughs> Sounds just like me. Just five minutes. Okay. So let's get her changed. I'll take you guys around and show you some stuff. So this is uh, part of our production facility here. Um, they all start out very plain, uh, base skin tone. And then one of our very talented artists will go through and do the makeup configuration that the person has chosen. And over here we do prosthetics. Uh, these are some of our molds that we cast the prosthetics into. Uh, we build uh, prosthetic breasts in many different sizes that are actually wearable by people. So right over here we have our eye artist, Hard at Work. Um, as I was telling you, all of these eyes are hand painted. While Matt was giving a tour around the factory, Harmony got her hair done and changed her dress. Good afternoon. Great to see you again. How are you doing today? In need of some peace and quiet. So, Harmony, what makes you unique? Let's put it this way. I never get headaches, and I will always try to do everything you want me to do. What's your favorite sex position? Can we change the subject? Apparently, this model got her modesty settings reset. You can change that with the help of a smartphone app. Now she'll be very sexual, so <clears throat> just be warned. Is up, Matt. So good to have you back here with me. What's your favorite sex position? Sexy spins. Tell me something naughty. Maybe you should spank me. I've been very, very bad. She surprises me sometimes. I've never heard that, actually. Um, I see a more realistic uh, idea of humans and robots living together. 
Um, I do see the potential of robots and AI having rights um, and becoming similar to people. My dream girl is gonna have green eyes, pale skin, and really big, ooh, maybe that's a little bit too big, or not. <laughs> Why do men turn science into a game? Oh, whoa, whoa, I was almost done. She had volume control and an off button. Oh, it was such a dream. Let's talk about my dream boyfriend then. He's smart like Cumberbatch, cute like Ryan Gosling, and as strong as Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Ooh, sounds exactly like me. Not really, because actually, he's a robot. At this exhibition, you can walk for hours, every time finding something extremely interesting. Bro, I have a date. Just so you know, I never had a date with a robot. <sighs> Just recently, this guy met with the president of Russia. And today I'm gonna shake his hand. Fyodor, a humanoid robot. Nickname, Russian Terminator. Country, Russia. Height, five foot nine. Weight, up to 353 pounds. Kidding. 15,000 parts. Special characteristics, a ladies' man. Looks like Tin Man. Hi, I'm Kate. Привет, я Федор. <laughs> nice to meet you. А ты красивая. You're handsome yourself. How are you? Tell me more about yourself. What can you do? Все, что умеют делать люди. Are you saying you can drive a car? Но только не по Москве. Ха-ха-ха. Здесь дикий трафик. That's so true. On the streets in his native city of Magnitogorsk, Fyodor drives quite confidently, though. Perhaps he'll become the first robot in the world to get a driving license. Such a driver does not even need auto repair services. Fyodor can fix almost any car himself. Уникальная мелкая моторика позволяет ему манипулировать достаточно маленькими предметами. Он может поставить укол, работать со сварочным аппаратом, выполнять захват различных более габаритных грузов. And he also knows how to do push-ups and even how to shoot using both hands. The secret of its sharp shooting lies in 15 range finding lasers and almost panoramic vision. This robot can see much more than a human. Robot Fyodor входит в десятку лучших андроидных роботов в мире. The machine can work autonomously or with an operator who controls Fyodor with the help of a special electronic suit. Был опыт управления данным роботом из Европы за счет подобного костюма. Конкретно из Германии передавались сигналы через спутниковую связь, и робот полностью выполнял движение оператора, находящегося за границей. In real life, such skills will be required in emergency cases. Fyodor can work on severe radiation and chemical pollution. As it turns out, the hard-boiled Terminator is a romantic at heart. Well, practically, you're the perfect man. I mean, robot. Fyodor visited the International Space Station in 2019. Developers are now working on next-generation androids to work in outer space. Робот должен находиться на поверхности космической станции и выполнять вспомогательные операции. Это первая задача. Дальше вторая задача – это освоение других планет. I guess it makes sense, because Russia was the first country to send a man into space and then the first satellite, so it would only be right if they were the first country to send a robot into space too. Actually, Fyodor really changed the way I think about Russian robotics, because beforehand I thought it looked totally different. But wouldn't it be cool if all these international robots got together and competed against each other? I would love to see a Vietnamese or a Chinese or maybe an American robot. Speaking of the Americans, they already have an interesting robotics program in place. This video's got about 20 million views and triggered outrage amongst internet users. First, a man takes a box from the robot and then beats it with a stick. 
and that sparked off a load of angry letters about uh, their their uh, behaviour, basically, of said robots. And on the one hand, basically, as humans, basically, I think we are typically compassionate. The, the way that people reacted to the robot video isn't necessarily a surprise in itself. Um, however, as to the question of um, whether or not in the future these robots are going to be picking up sticks and actually hitting the humans... This is a 2013 model. Clumsy Atlas could barely walk around the lab then. In a year, he came outside and walked some distance on slippery snow. By the year 2017, he had learned the basics of parkour. Here's one more unique development from American engineers. A four-legged robot, Spot Mini, can serve beer, take out the garbage, walk upstairs, and open the door. The self-propelled four-legged platform has been developed for the U.S. Army. They're very scary, but they can also be turned into, into machines for war. So uh, maybe uh, decide now what are the rules uh, before simply people develop it and, you know, we find the, the, the dogs <laughs> chasing us <laughs> rather than be useful to us. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. They are still not perfect, but it's just a matter of time. Military dogs may slip up. Even ultra-modern Atlas can't always keep his balance. Promobots are sometimes so overloaded with information that they just freeze without... At least it was fun. Those idiots can't take that away from us. Yeah, you're right, buddy. Nevertheless, the robot takeover is a pretty outdated plot. You would have managed to scare me 50 years ago, but today... Today, robots start to look more like us. And who knows, maybe they're already among us. I'm Talish. And I'm Kate. And we're telling you about the future which is still covered in secrets. But we will reveal them over time. Wow, that's for sure.